Welcome. My name is Bernardo Vargas, and I am Dr. Nate Shoring. I want to thank you very much for joining one more of my programs of Manufacturing in Mexico for Dummies. Okay, this time we are continuing with the last uh, topic we were talking about. We were talking about uh, manufacturing strategies. Uh, uh, like we said, uh, just to remember very quickly, stand alone. Um, things like um, private labeling, etc. So now are, we're going to go deeper in uh, the first two. Basically, we want to talk about the first two because those are the, the most popular. Uh, easily, we can consider m m more than 85% of the companies or new operations coming to Mexico are going to build to suit. Um, sorry, to stand alone, to stand alone. That means that they do everything by themselves or they go to shelter. Shelter, uh, uh, very quickly reminding, uh, it's hiring a manufacturing partner. They have experience here. They actually devote all the resources to uh, nurture uh, new companies to help you uh, start your operation. You can continue working with them for as long as you want. Uh, basically, the, comp the new company signs a, a, a contract, uh, I think minimum for two years. Um, that's what I've seen. Uh, but uh, our companies here that stay there uh, 10, 12, 15 years, and they have a uh, they, they, they're happy with that. Uh, okay, so for today's subject, we have, I prepared the following. I have a little board here. So we have, in the right, well, in this side, we have standalone and shelter. These are the first two, right? That we said are the most popular, okay? Then, on the other side, let's let's say that you you pick one of the one 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 of these two. Either one of these two, then you have to make a, that's the next decision that you will probably have to make. And that's that from the from the very preparation of your project before approval, because this is going to impact your cost model. Why? If you okay, then there's two things. Now you need to, to, to figure out your building. Where are you gonna where are you gonna put your operation? Okay. Basically, there's two options. Build to suit, which means you're gonna order a building to a construction company exactly to suit your needs. That's there's a, 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 a decision-making process that I'm going to ta talk about right now for, you, for coming to that decision. Or you go to standard existing building. Both of them you can do, obviously, you can do direct investment. In other words, you bring your capital and you build and you pay, pay what 100% to the construction company, and then you own the land and you own your building. Yes? And, and we stop the discussion there. But most of the companies decide to go lease. So, so the companies are able to reflect this expense through the life of the operation, which makes a lot of sense. And then... Uh, it's the same in, in uh, with existing building. Then they decide to go with a lease, and then they put this lease in 15 years. 15 year contracts are very standard, and uh, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and then go with a month lease, monthly lease, uh -huh. and and that's it. Okay, now let's talk about what is the difference between built to suit and stand and, and standard existing. Well, 
it, it is, and this is just common sense, and it's probably the same. It's probably the same everywhere. But I have seen companies coming here. They don't know this until the very last minute. They already got approved their money, and they they didn't even consider the rent. So. Uh, I know it may sound silly, but this is very important to be considered in your cost model. When you're, de when you're establishing uh, your financial model with all your sales, your expense, your indirect, everything, and your finally, um, your uh, profits, it's, it's, it's absolutely necessary to put this because it's a big chunk of money, okay? Uh, so, if you go build, build to suit, obviously that's going to be a, a bigger amount of money than with existing building. But what, what are the pros and cons, uh, uh, more or less, in general? Well, if your process is very specialized or is, is somehow specialized, where you have a, a complicated or um, heavy uh, utilities or material transportation, material moving uh, devices. Easy, let's say, for, let's say for example that you have an intense uh, plastic molding processes. And, and then um, you want to have a centralized uh, a system to feed the pellets into your molding machines. Well, then you're going to have a uh, um, uh, piping uh, going from your centralized system mm -hmm, uh, to your molding machines. So that's gonna um, that mean that these pe this, these pipes are are gonna be hanging hopefully from the roof, right? And then that, that's just one example. Then you're gonna also gonna have uh, chill water and returning water to, because the molding machines didn't um, get cool water, right? Well, that's another way. Well, then if you're gonna hang up to the roof as well, then you typically you're gonna put in this area of the country. Ah, and I want to mention that um, I think I have not mentioned in the previous programs. We are located in Monterrey, and we give service to companies. Uh, in other words, we have developed projects in. Chihuahua, Coahuila, uh, Nuevo León, uh, Tamaulipas, San Luis Potosí, Guanajuato, and Carretaro. So we have experience in the north, northeast uh, side of the country and part of the of the center region, most industrialized. So you're in good hands. If you decide to to call us to see if we can help you, please go ahead. Okay, that was a pause. So all those pipes. Uh, are gonna be hanging with your ducting for for air conditioning, with your electrical, with your uh, compressed air because you need compressed air, right? So everything is gonna be hanging from the from the roof. Well, guess what? In Coahuila, in in Nuevo León, in um, Tamaulipas, there's scars. Uh, offer of uh, facilities for factories so but there are some available but they are mainly where you see used or design design as warehouses which means their the roof capacity to support weight is very reduced is very light. So, if you have this type of process, which is 
not very complex. I think it's very standard for many companies to have a, a molding process. Then you're gonna you're gonna need we're gonna be forced to build and a separate steel structure because you're not gonna be able to hang it to hang that from the roof. Okay. All right. Well, if that's just one process, uh, perhaps your your uh, your gut budget is not gonna be very uh, impacted with a steel structure built only for your molding. But now let's let's uh, let's add something to it. Imagine that you have your assembly area because you, normally you have your molding, you have some welding, you have some some assembly depending on the complexity of your product or you have the assembly and imagine that because it's your brand new operation you have some um, automation right you have the transport product in in perhaps in bands right in a uh, yep uh, and you have uh, lots of uh, electrical and compressed air uh, for very specific areas of your process. So you have uh, some uh, utility uh, condensation, let's put it in that way, or condensed areas which weight is gonna be a little higher or, or much higher than the rest of the, of the plant? Because probably in the rest of your assembly lines are very light. And, 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 and you, you, don't, you don't, perhaps uh, it's, it's not necessary to, to, have a, to have a drop, an electrical drop on every station. That's, that, that's, that's, that's very common. If that's the case, then you may be forced also to build a special steel structure to support some of your uh, processes, uh, other processes, right? This, this, this thing, this, this thing goes, uh, uh, grows and grows depending on the complexity of your, of your project. If you have, if for example, you have a, um, a press, if you have a welding and you need ducting for taking out fumes, um, and you have more automation for automatic feeding, then you need to, you're gonna, you're gonna need to have more and more, um, auxiliary hanging features for your to support your process then uh, uh, the roof is not going to make it so this is when the decision comes how much it cost to build uh, to build separate spots or a special steel structure or how much cost to go to a build to suit because in the end, uh, it's leasing. So that means that you, you may end up buying the building or uh, as the contract says, the, it belongs to the landlord, which becomes the developer. When, when the building is finished, they become the landlord. And, and they, they're gonna own the building with, with a reinforcement. And the point, the expectation is that other companies with a similar need to uh, to have an extra an extra support in the in the roof are gonna are gonna be interested in that building. And and, and in my experience in, in 35 in 35 years the uh, uh, working manufacturing the, the answer is yes. Those buildings does not exist in the market. Because normally companies when come here they stay, okay, um, and if they leave, 
when they leave that building, the building uh, immediately uh, immediately goes away. So it's a matter of it's a, it's a, it's a business decision. It's a matter it's a matter of money, but also it's important that if you consider this early, you're gonna be say you're gonna you're gonna be saving lots of 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 headaches. Uh, uh, when you are near to start up. Well, let me tell you, last customer that we start up uh, uh, participated in launching 100% uh, percent of the plant. Well, we, present, we participated in different areas, but one of the big areas they asked us to do was a special steel structure, but covering all along the plant. You can go to my to my website or to my Facebook page, Bernardo Space Manufacturing Space. Um, perdón, sorry, Bernardo Space Vargas Space Manufacturing uh, Facebook, and you can see pictures of the steel structure that delayed the startup from November um, 2022 until June 2023 so eight months fortunately they could manage that delay because they have other operations in the region they have other plants so they were able to manage that uh, the disaster because uh, this also is very important that you consider and, and, and be very careful who is going to be your project manager. Because they hire a, uh, this company hired a very expensive program manager, World Presence, and they, and they, it's incredible that they never, the project manager never ask the, uh, the, 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 the customer to provide the engineering, to check the engineering, because this is a regular work of, a pro of the project manager. They need to check 100% of the civil, uh, the civil calculations for all the supports of the, of the building and the design of the roof and the design of the, of the foundations, everything, all the steel structure, all the roof design. Everything. This, this needs to be checked by the project manager with the constructor and the, and the contractors. They didn't, did, they didn't do this. So when they were in the, in the point of start installation, somebody wondered why, uh, how much kilograms they were going to be able to hang in surprise. Um, they were exceeding the, the amount for, for a little. It was already impossible. You, uh, 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 um, you always need to have some um, risk uh, differential, uh, to, uh, some safety, safety is, is uh, exceed excess. So, um, unfortunately, we were there. And uh, one of our contractors, whose uh, specialty, uh, specialty is steel structures, all kinds of steel structures, and and, and more other uh, uh, fabrication, like export benches, uh, trans uh, transport stuff, logistics, etc. Uh, we were able to design together with our customer and build very quickly. So we finished in finished. We finished in April. With all the uh, 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 brand new design and everything, we finished in April. Then we test on May, and then finally for June they were able to finish their the installation of the lines. Uh, so that was uh, one example. So this is why it's been very important to decide if you want coming again to the subject because I got a little uh, deviation. Build to suit or existing site. Existing site is good because it's, it's uh, inexpensive, but it's it's uh, risky because depending on your process, you're going to be forced to make mo many modifications. And legally, this is very important, legally, 
the, the existing building belongs to the landlord, which is the, the, the company uh, owning all the, uh, the, the, um, the, the industrial park and the developer. What means is that every change that you do to the, to the existing building, you need to ask permission to the land to the landlord to the owner of the building because he's the owner yes so that's that for some companies that really becomes a headache because they are used to have a flexible facilities yes if they receive a machine they want to be capable of installing the machine in in one day or two days and they build their own foundation and they put the piping as, um, in the way they want and in the direction so they make holes to the to the floor and they make holes to the walls and to the roof and, and they don't care about anybody else well in this case every uh, all the things that I mentioned need to be asked to the um, to the landlord and, and written permission because most of those changes are, are, are required to be repaired when the building is uh, left when, when, the, when the customer is leaving the, the building in the future all of those changes are required to be repaired in other words if you build your offices in that in that place and then 15 years later you decide no no i want to have my own building because i am tired of these people okay you need to dismantle your offices remove your offices and leave the floor as if nothing had happened destroy yes remove yes demolish everything and then repair so all those repairs need to be considered in your initial project if it's if it's done correctly all those all those modifications there, there has to be some money in that um, AR and, and and year after year the operation need to carry that capital yes that's a uh, that's one way of doing it, but uh, my objective here is uh, giving you a heads up and uh, advice on all the, uh, the different details that sometimes are, are not considered. Okay, well, again, my name is Bernardo Vargas. I am Dr. Neil Shoring, and I thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.